This is the tool shed I have in my backyard, and what I did is I set it up with solar power so that I can use lights and plug in small appliances without having to hook up an entire electric line to the shed. The panel is mounted to a 2 inch diameter conduit pipe that I dug 3 feet under the ground. To dig my hole I just used a post hole digger and kept at it for uh, a few hours until I got 3 feet deep. The post itself is a 10 foot long 2 inch in diameter conduit pipe. Uh, so once I stuck it into the ground with the hole fully dug, I took a look at how much I wanted to cut off the top so that it would even out. A general rule of thumb is that you want at least 50% of the pole to be underground. So once I decided where to make my cut, I just took a hacksaw and cut it down to the size I wanted. Next I put the pole inside the hole make sure it's level and once it's about where I want to I can sort of prop it with some boards and then place a little bit of gravel at the bottom of the hole. After I got gravel at the bottom I'm going to pour in a bunch of concrete and I'm just going to mix the concrete inside the hole. It's dry right now. I'll add some water and then mix it all up. Before the concrete sets, you're going to want to make sure that the pole is level again. And then once you have confirmed that it's level, uh, place a few boards around it to make sure it doesn't slide while the concrete is setting. Once the concrete is set, feel free to top off the hole with gravel or dirt. Now to attach the solar panel to the pole, I used a satellite dish mount and unistrut rails. The unistrut rails at my hardware store come in 10 foot lengths, so I bought one 10 foot length and then cut it down into four pieces, two across the satellite mount, and then two across the solar panel, and then mount those two together. And to help mount everything together, you can use these spring bolts. Spring bolts just pop inside some unistrut. Now my unistrut is a little thin, so I cut down my spring bolts so they would fit inside. And then once the spring bolts locked in, like they do right here, we can bolt it in for that added stability. After I used the spring bolts to help attach the unistrut to the solar panel and the unistrut to the satellite mount, I can use the spring bolts again to attach all the unistrut to each other. Now before we attach the solar panel to the conduit pole, we want to wire everything up. So I took these solar panel extenders and then wired them inside some PVC pipe and then up into the shed. Once the solar panel extender cables are wired, we can go ahead and take our solar panel and place it down. And assuming you're living in the northern hemisphere, you want to place your solar panel to the south for the best results. The solar panel and the extender wires clip into each other very simply. And as I mentioned earlier, the extender cables go around and up into my shed. On the inside, they come on in and then they attach into my charge controller. Also attached to my charge controller are two wires that lead directly down to my battery. And attached to the lead acid deep cycle battery is my power inverter which will run AC power off of standard outlets so if I flip the switch on I can get some AC power out as well. Now also attached to my power inverter is a cable that connects a 12 volt DC power into a switch, which right now is off, but the switch leads to two sets of LED lights. When I turn the switch on, they come on. And this comes in very handy at night. 